Well, that's the stream. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. No, I'm just kidding. We're, we're, we're going to play through the story. Relax. What do I need to be? Life is as ephemeral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax me. This isn't about you. We're leaving the Cianjo Lafu. March 7th called me dumb. I mean, are they wrong? All right, let's see. Misha. Misha, we got to Eidolon 2, I believe. one thing I look forward to? Growing up, of course. You're not growing up, kid. You're dying. We can all tell. Chat! Uh, no spoilers, but any bets on who we think might die? Because, uh, apparently the, the person that wrote this, uh, <laughs> the, the writer for this, uh, arc, uh, like, um, this quest, the Penacony story, is apparently notoriously known for killing off Himiko in the Honkai Third Impact. I don't think they would do Himiko again. I don't think they would kill her off again. That would just be... That would just be ridiculous. We just got her back. Um, What do I need to level her up? You wanna bet? You know what? Fair enough. I recall some enchanting moments. Ah, uh, enchanting because she's fortune telling. So, all right. You guys think we could get her? Thank you, everybody, for all the raids. I appreciate it. Uh, I just started playing and I failed on the boss. <sighs> loser. Loser. Okay, is this a new... Actually? Oh, it's in the Alchemy Commission. Okay, so we can... Okay, we can uh, build Black Swan. Uh, so that's neat. Uh, I'm not going to continue leveling her up right now. Because I do want to get to the story. Because I don't have a lot of time today. And I realized that I won't be able to play Persona for a week. Well, actually, um, that's not true. I could play uh, Persona on my Aces ROG ally and just, uh, you know, play it for funsies on my own time. But I, I really do want to play my stream version. So that's fine. That's cool. Um, anyway. All right. Fate's Atlas. Uh, what is this? Check the prog- Oh! This is that thing that lets you know what happened and where. Oh, yeah, I did not finish the uh, the spirit one, which is fine. I kind of know how it ends. So. What is this available? Oh, yeah, I still haven't done the companion quest. Yeah, there's some stuff. I, I do love that. It tells you in chronological order when things are supposed to happen. So that's cool. Anyway. All right. Long journey into the night. All right. Is this the new 2.0 update? It sure is. We got to go to the parlor car. It's time. Time to head to the next stop. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor. Car. All right. We haven't done this in a bit. Literally, the taste of victory yet. was horrible, but figuratively. Nom, 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 nom. nom, nom. nom. All right. Jing Yuan going to Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Anyway. <laughs> Bomb knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Ahem. I love Bomb Bomb. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. Okay. Plop 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 plop. So what came up? Are we going to? Are we searching rats again? Uh, but I only just finished packing my bags. Mm hmm. I thought our next destination is the Planet of Festivities. Planet of Festivities. I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous cellar hotel. But before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. Okay, what are they? First, Penacone is located in Azdana, a star system brimming with memoria. Okay. Which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Uh, Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Okay. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different. So if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, huh. or any other symptoms, hey, what's up, I am Chiba. Take them seriously. Hmm. Second, Penacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. Yeah. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest, and that we must adhere to any and all 
regulation. Yeah, that's right. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. When in Rome, Don't let worry, them eat conductor. cake. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. Oh, we will. Don't you worry. Uh, anyway. Welcome back, Kyo. Third and final. Rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. A favor? If sure. you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Oh? Like who? Are we getting new crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. Sure. What does Just that mean? like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Uh-huh. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC... Better hi, hi, heart. And it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. Okay. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. Hey, what's up, Izzy? As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone I'm glad I'll take your home. Thank you. Oh, no. Is this a rare happening? Who could be this important? Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons Cancer of cut off all worlds. to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Then why are we going to Penacone? Why did these nameless... Is it to find the nameless specifically? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. I got you, Jeff. That is in itself an adventure. Yeah, we got Black Swan already. Agree? So we're Even specifically going... The behind them. Their trail we were invited, were sure, but... But that's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? Hmm. According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina. Who the fuck? The Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary hmm. details are available. Uh, just All will be answered as you play? Well, obviously. I would hope. They don't even sound like they're real names either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah! We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity, perhaps we might hey, even stumble diversity. upon their descendants. Or against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. Let's go! We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags. Well, I don't need bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump. Why? We're all here. There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Hey, what up? Well, how you doing, buddy? How's it going? All packed and ready? Yes, there sir. Probably That's won't me. Be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a Bro, shame. Bro, your model is so fire. Me. Why? Thank but, you. Hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. Mm, Mr. Yang, you look so relaxed. <laughs> well. Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation mm -hmm. is equally important. Mm -hmm. but rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty Come for us, with and me, it's take time the to return that favor. Are you excited for Penacone? Here's the thing, right now, no, because I'm not in it. Um, And all I'm thinking about is Persona, so... You're the picture of calm as hey, always. Hey, thank you for the 500 biddies. Meanwhile, March 7th, Gigi's buzzing around like a kid wanted. on a sugar rush. Just started Star Rail the other day. Can't wait to eventually... Hey, that's awesome. You on. So All right. Twaddle. Of course, I'm the mature adult type. <laughs> a punchline with a straight face. I suppose that's your specialty. It's but fun. I can't wait for you to play it. I'm sure it's great. Invitation. I just have... Uh, I do have some details. I literally just have... Um, just... Not uh, Persona on the mind. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. So, yeah. I'll be waiting. Persona Coney. I mean, honestly, that's the thing about, uh, that's the thing about, uh, Star Rail. It's, it's space Persona. Uh, but not as, like, Mr. Yang. crazy. I'll be staying on the Express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Damn. You're not coming? Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places. Milky Boxy and Boy, did you do the whole thing? Someone has to handle the work on the express. All right, well, Dong Hong is not right. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final Don stop really sounds trip. different. What are you talking about? We have How long did it take you, Milky Box Boy? Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with He all sounds happier, I will say. Um, 
I'd advise double-checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. He said that last time? He did say that last time. Don sounds less emo. Well, I mean, he did kind of settle everything over in the Cienjo, so... You have to go through Toiletries. TSA? Obviously, chat! Aw, Trad! The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacone's Resort Hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just I, like, just did it very fancy. slow, was sniffing in every corner and all about three to four <laughs> that hours. That means I can make more room in my suitcase. Okay. It might take us two what streams to do this, bring? chat. I'll let you know on it right now. Take some food, take your pom pom. Take me! Yeah, you won't fit in the suitcase. Can't you walk? Oh, uh, March, why don't uh, you just indulge me? bring some novels or comic books. At least then I won't be too bored while staying in the hotel room. But these books are so heavy. Then don't take the books, dummy. Aw, this is hard. What else should I take? It's about time. I should find a seat. It's about damn time. Let me get over there. <laughs> Majin, think of the raid. Will I pull for Black Swan? You know what? Just because you asked. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll give you one single pull. Here you go, bud. Just for you. Boom. Oh my god! I can't believe it! Oh, dude! That's crazy! Oh my god! Dude! I can't believe I pulled Black Swan! Dude! Oh! Boo! Boo! Look! 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 Look, Black Swan. Oh, my God. That's crazy, dude. Oh, my God. J bro, in that single pull, I also got a light cone. Holy shit, bro. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh. <laughs> I'm so extra, dude. I Why am I like this? Uh, where am I going? <laughs> Fuck. All right, I got to take a seat. Streamer luck? Like, you mean my wallet? <laughs> oh yes, hi Pom Pom. The Express is about to make the jump. The Express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. The train is about hey. to make the jump. Hey! Let's see if he eats shit. Three, I haven't seen this in a while. Two, one. Whoa, whoa. Ah! What the fuck happened? Where the fuck are we? What's going on? All right. I might be in. I sat up. <laughs> Not another one. Oh, brother. This guy. I do love her eye. It's very Code Geass looking. Come with me. I guess. Um. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. M Majin, I got Misha three times. Anyway, uh, ooh, what is this place? These questions have no meaning. Oh, bet. But I will answer you as best as I can. Thank you. This is the border between reality and the memory zone. A dreamscape. Dope. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreams. Bro, it's like psychonauts. in each other's minds. Dude, it's psychonauts. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything ah, that has no. transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Mm. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to. Dude, it's so right. fascinating to me. Like, Allegra, I have been listening. I mean, I literally played Persona fucking 3 Reload yesterday. And I was hearing Allegra for almost 10 hours, right? Literally, I was playing all day yesterday. And somehow, 
I don't know if it's the way Allegra is like speaking in like a speech pattern or the cadence, but if I ha didn't know it was Allegra, my first thought would not have been Allegra. Um, yeah, no, she sounds great. So come with me. I'll take you home. Okay. We're not going to talk about the weird painting over here. I got him. Left to the end of the corridor. Left? I will wait there for you. But there's a swimming pool. There's a lava lamp. A fire. I want to go in the painting. <laughs> anyway, all right. Uh, not uh, Stop fucking around. <gasps> Kingdom Hearts. May your heart be your guiding key. Galaxy hey, man, run around with Black Akalon. Swan. I want to see something. This is what they call me. Uh, I don't think they let me change to Black Swan knows. here. Yeah, I, I only got uh, I only got the boyo here. Sorry. Wait, what was that? I can call you what now? Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing Take dreamscape. Take a look. Well, Whoa. You can still remember. Oh, you can still remember. This is. I think this no is what way. they call lucid dreaming, chat. This way. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? Oh, snap. Jack of all trades. Possible. Dude, what a good way to do this. Why not? Huh? She can hear the thoughts in my head? We're almost there. Can you still walk? Uh, I mean, yeah. Now I've become a trailblaze, the permabulator of walls. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. Yeah. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. I like the way she said, you're funny. <laughs> you're funny. I hate you. <laughs> Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. We're not going to address the two boyos over here. Has everybody announced? These who... voices. They're just shadows of the Has everybody state. announced who voices who? I know that Aiden Rudd announced that he's voicing Sam. Which, thank God, dude. Holy shit. I, it was so funny because I remember... Chat, I'm going to be honest. Uh... I literally, when Sam, when we watched that Sam trailer months ago, right? Uh, I literally uh, texted the director and I was like, hey, uh, homie to homie, because we're friends. I was like, who, um, <clears throat> who voices uh, Sam? Just for me, because I thought they were hot and shit. And he's like, yeah, man, anytime. Um, and he tells me Aiden. And obviously I didn't tell nice. anybody that it was him. He, Aiden posted this on Twitter. Go follow Aiden Rudd on Twitter. He sounds great as Sam. And I remember I confronted him. I'm like, man, I gotta be honest. Uh, I watched that fucking trailer and I thought you sounded hot as shit, bro. <laughs> hey, thank you for the 17 months. 17 months, let's go. If you guys don't know who so Sam is, Sam is the uh, Stellaron Hunter. Boston. Hope you Hayden and your animal yeah, I can't wait for anime, uh, anime Boston. Oh, I can listen to them. Do you think you can just sleep? Oh, maybe. I'm sorry. Thank you, Lunar. The dance party. Sunday is Griffin. Yes. I've already chosen. Griffin Poitou, is that confirmed? He's behind you. Who's behind me? Sam? Sam's behind me? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Dude, there he is. There he is. There he is. Dude, look at that Gundam looking ass fuck in the game. Look at this fucking. Look at this giant. Dude, I don't even think Jing Yuan is this tall. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Bro. Would, you know? The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? I'm gonna tell you right now, chat, to anybody that says Sunday's Rob Damon, you are incorrect. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious. Hold up, Aki. Dear Gamber. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Not what I expected his voice to sound like. Adventurines, I mean. It's a lot higher than I thought it'd be. I didn't miss anyone, right? 
There's not someone hiding in the bushes or whatever. Not fucking. I got everybody. All right. Dude, this is the most Psychonauts. Is Penacuni going to be my favorite because it just reminds me of Psychonauts? Is that what's going to happen? We're here. Welcome I to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. If they brought in Jack Black, then yeah, Lamau. Even without Jack Black. That's we what I said? Wait, really? Rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. All right, sassy bitch. But before you do, I would make a request of you. Sure. And that request might be. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Mm hmm. Have we met somewhere before? <gasps> Oh, what do you mean? Why is it in red? Zero, thank you. Thank you for the raid. In another universe, the rec text. Honkai impact drop. Chat. Here's a crazy theory. Mind you, I have not played. I have not played Honkai impact third, right? Is it... And I know that Honkai Impact 3rd is primarily female characters. Is it possible the Trailblazer was in Impact 3rd? Like, at some point? Because we know before he became a Stellaron. No, it's not possible? Okay. Very unlikely, kinda. There's one male character? Okay. Okay. Because we do know that he did hang around the Stellaron Hunters before he got the Stellaron, right? So, actually there's more than one male character in in Impact 3rd, because we had Welt, we had, we had Welt, we had um, Lacha, but, but not Lacha. We had Yangqing, but an older, so, Trailblazer is not a real person. We'll see. I don't know. But it's just interesting. Hmm. What do you mean? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet Bro, forever Bro, why reach. is it in red? That's so interesting. This is foreshadowing something, 100%. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Hmm. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. In before, in before, um, what it is is that Trailblazer has a dream with Asheron in the future, but it's her past. Just some weird time travel bullshit. Dreams are weird. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Oh. Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and- I, I really like the music here. Might I ask if you fear River Song type dilemma? Yeah. Man. Oh, why is it in red? I cannot bear such a fear. If it means losing them, I would. If it means that I will disappear, I would. If it means losing them, I would. And before these answers actually hmm. dictate what happens. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape. So lifelike, it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? 
What in the Persona 5 Royal are you talking about? If I didn't have to pay any price, I would. That depends on the price I'd have to pay. I would never want to live in a dream. Yo, from my boy Akechi. Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Bro. Friends, oh, we're killing people. Family, strangers, followed by the gentle People are breeze, dying. People are dying. Birds, people are dying in this stars, dream. And ultimately yourself. Bro, people are dying in this dream. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches. The vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined dude Penacone is just maruki palace if you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception i would ask would you still embark on this journey fuck no <laughs> i would blaze a trail without hesitation i wouldn't abandon it trailblazing was never my intent i would abandon it i have already tasted the beauty of dreams i would abandon it the price is too dear well, chat. It going? Hey, what up, Deadly? Well, you know, I really would be insane. This this would be next level Honkai like Hoyoverse gaming. This would be next level Hoyo gaming. This is something I expected out of like OG Mass Effect, which is what we got, right? Like the choices you make. Hell, this is shit that we get out of Baldur's Gate, right? Whatever answer I give here determines how the dream will be scaped. I doubt Honkai Star Rail would do that to me right now, but bro, could you imagine if you say abandon it, you don't get to go to Penacone. That's it. You just don't get to go to Penacone, and the game's done. They've done it before. They've done it once at the very beginning of the game, but it was also the very beginning of the game, right? But could you imagine if they did this shit now? Well, I'm gonna fucking blaze. I would blaze without hesitation. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I've said, the answer is inconsequential. And with Kafka's story, that is true. But I don't think Hearing, they would. Touch, I don't think they would thought. alienate a whole through these you gain expansion. Emotions. You know, cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? Oh my God, I don't know why that hurt. I seem to remember you from somewhere. No, this is the first. I mean, here's the thing. I do recognize her. She does look familiar. A bunch of people have said she is technically the Honkai Impact third equivalent of I in Genshin because this is the same one. So I'm personally going to say I do seem to remember you from somewhere. And I did see in those little like flashbacks right before we got into here that I did see her. Right in May. Oh, not I. A, not I. Bro, whatever. Stop correcting me. understand how interesting for a split second it felt like countless versions of you alike yet distinct gave entirely different responses what in the doctor strange that was my final question thank you we all have our path i is walk. based on right and mate right so that's what i was saying i don't know purpose. i don't know impact third i was just saying that there is a version in impact third and then there's another one that is the right in in right in a in genshin that's what i was saying we're all saying the same thing chat we're all saying the same thing i just didn't know her name in honkai impact third that's what i was saying that was my final question thank you we have all our paths to walk so we shall bid farewells will, will we meet again you haven't told me how to leave this place Golden Dream is getting restless. In the coming nights I'm alone, be lurking. That's I'm afraid fair. we'll face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. Honkai 2? Wait a minute. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. 
dude we gotta do a poll at some point or like a video where we just talk about who could possibly die in uh in in this game like who's gonna be it? like we've already gotten ting noon dead please but i have a feeling one of the trailblazers is gonna die world. like one of the nameless like one of our crew will be a glimpse of fleeting red and when you make a choice it will reappear before you once more. I mean, she did say everybody was going to die. Emiko? No. <gasps> what you must do now is ponder its significance. Dude, I... She's so cool. She does have very similarities to Zila, design-wise. You can return to the waking world. Uh, huh? we all find our answers. Did you just kill him? What just happened, dog? I may have dreamed of a tragic future. I may have dreamed of an old friend. Sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already... Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Yep. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were Chad, sleeping, I have to check something real quick. Penicone. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison... Is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could wander Penacone streets today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. All right, all right, chat. I'm adding a uh, a sound alert. It's gonna cost a hundred biddies. I just added it. If you want to know what it is, it's um, it's this bad boy. Yippee! Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Right. It's not gonna is be. Is March seventh still packing her luggage? Dude, it's not me, Himiko, and Welt. That's crazy. Hey, March. You gonna stay here? <laughs> You're up? I am. How's your prep going? Welt and Himiko beat us to the punch. Oh! But I stuck around for you. We're all let's going? going? Fuck. All right, let's go. Mm, Firefly? Which one is Firefly? I'm ready to go. Coney, the planet of festivities. The universe is big. Okay. Everybody's going except Don Hung. That's crazy. Don Hung really hates us. Insane. Oh, we're here at last. Oh, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry Dude, protocols. Dude, I gotta say, every time I hear the family, I think of Hayden's D&D like &D campaign, where the family is known as a bunch of villains. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron. I don't believe Himiko will die. I, I agree. I think Himiko would be too predictable, but that's that's just my thought. Not doing Persona is shot. We're only doing Panacone because we have to get through this. The Stellaron is stable. Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this great Maybe every Himiko is fated to die. That and would be crazy. Rows, they're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. <laughs> Where are our rooms? Yippee! Come on. There, there it is. The the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet Even them there. Even Yippee! Hey, you were in my dreams. Welcome to the reverie. May you experience an unforgettable oh. holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Sure, my boy. Uh, it's the child from the, the dream. So I do remember. I'm Misha, 
a bellboy working here this on is Kenicone. not please to be Erica Harlicker. this is uh the, help, the same baggage. actress who plays a uh, skirk uh, in Genshin here. something's not right oh should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room feel free to contact me uh, please go ahead don't keep your friend waiting all right sorry guys I was adjusting a thing oh, okay I was adjusting a thing. Yeah, cat is great. The taste of victory was horrible. But hey, figured. what's the big gathering at the Nom 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 nom. All right, all right, chat. Before I continue, already? Simba did say I should use a uh, black swan for a second. Damn, she looks so cool. Anyway, so what what am I doing, Simba? Am I just walking? Like, what am I what am I doing? Simba says I I he 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 wanted me to use black swan and walk. Was that the thing? Hmm. Okay. What am I? Uh, or is it just normal walk? Heads, what, what am I looking for? Am I looking at how attractive she is? Like, what am I? A, 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 is it just how bouncy she is? Like, what, what am I looking at? I'm missing it. What, what am I looking at? The thighs? That is crazy. The hips? Oh, the swaying? What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god, that's like a lot. Huh? Um, good lord. Is that supposed to... Huh? Yippee! Black swan believers rise up. Dude, that's like insane. Is Rodney the same? I mean, Ranmei is kind of similar, but... Dude. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Alright, Jing Yuan, where's your hip sway? Go on. Hit him with it, boys. That's fine. We got it. <laughs> yeah, Hoyoverse is making big waves and thighs. Dear Lord, we are winning. Uh, boo, boo, boo. unfortunately, my black swan is not really that built. I mean, I could build her if chat doesn't care. I could just go and, and get her to 90 real quick, but I really want to play through the story, so. Well, she's built, just not good in combat. True? I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. Ha! Huh. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. Yeah, you better. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and... That's right. Check Mr. it again! These are the only four names on the reservation list. Huh? Is there something wrong? Ah, yes. I'm Mr. Dong Hung reporting for duty. Dong Hung. <laughs> That's me. I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. Um, I'm Don Hung? Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. I'm Don Hung. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. I don't know, miss. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... Show Trailblazer profile. Show my architect Lance. <laughs> no, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... It's just... Hmm? Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Pentagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. My guy, I'm gonna be honest. Put on your glasses and your hat, because uh, you without the glasses is not doing it for me. Um, Put on your glasses, homie. Uh, still not the voice I was expecting. 
I just gotta say. Also, they nerfed his titties. Uh, anyway, go on. Well, hotel security is on high alert. We I love his shirt, though. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from what the is this Express, voice reminding me of? Please do not make it harder for her. Hmm. We are sorry for all the trouble our check in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble adventuring of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non performing this? asset liquidation specialist and subordinate. Mickey to me think of the two gifted Dunn. Morrigan. Thank you I for the raid. How's it going, Raiders? Maker. Chat, you know what this voice reminds me of? It's a very specific combination. It's it's like Caleb fused with Lucian Dodge. If you don't know who Lucian Dodge is, Lucian Dodge voices Felix in uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, and he's voiced a number of characters. He's even in the new Persona 3 Reload. But uh, Lucian is great. But it's this weird... Th th this actor uh, is doing this thing where it just like it's almost like a nasal quality but it's it's also the cadence that it's doing it and i'm like oh he's mahito by the way in jujutsu kaisen i always forget he's that piece of shit uh lucian dodge not adventuring just saying um yeah lucian dodge is great adventuring's va is already announced great i actually am not aware who voices um adventuring um and it, it, it kind of is like lucian mixed with caleb Caleb Yen, specifically. Camden Sotkowski. That's awesome. Um, I actually am not aware of them. They sound great. It's just a very unique and specific voice. That's why I'm like, this is... I, I, I like... It, I hear, like, notes of, like, other people you know. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Pinnacone's invitation. I think it's his first year. So I don't know. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for Damn, us. Damn, such an exceptional figure. I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? Oh my god. It must I be hate an him. inordinate number. Which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment. I hate him. I hate him, Jack. I can't out help on. it. Oh, the IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also ah, no. forging new friendships. Ha. No. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friend? I'm going to pound me? you until you beg for mercy. I mean, the sound alert works with the way his face looks. He was annoying to me till he gave me 20k for no reason. Jade, Jades, he gave you 20k Jades? If he did that, then great. Yeah, I'll shut the fuck up. Now this is a topic. It was a cup of coffee. Getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Pentaconi before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that... Shut up! If I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you. All. Why is this Luca's like Luca from Niji Sanji's just baby brother? <laughs> but what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, you yes, <laughs> nothing is more precious than friends, especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. 
Going forward on this Panagoni trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful You're such a piece of shit. Usually I VOD watcher, first time catching stream. Well, welcome. This way. So about the vouching. And there you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on you. This guy stinks. He kind of does. Have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. I wonder what the tattoo on his neck is. Um, but just because you have money, Allie, does it? Oh, just a moment. Oh, brother. There he is. The man of the hour. It's Sunday. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Huh? Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. It's Sunday. The most handsome man in Panicum. Along with a singer renowned across the universe. Robin. Dude. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentacony. How interesting. Wow, flattery will get you everywhere. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. No, chat, that is not Robbie Damon. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? You're... Robin, not from Batman and Robin, just, just Robin, Robin. Oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Oh, talk to the assistant, whoops. The... Whoopsies. The singer, Epsilon Superstar. If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? Um. Uh, I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Huh? Oh, it really is Robin. To run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penacone like him? Hey, thank you, Ma Fox Magica, for the Truth raid. Told, I am a guest like everyone. Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I, I really like your voice. Chad, do we know who voices Robin? And sing a song at the Charmony Festival. Also, Chad, I do know who voices the Sunday. I'm not going to say it until Dan announces. My senior. And one of the local leaders at Penacone. Alice Himura. He is also oh, the organizer sweet. of this era's Terminal. A lot of new actors I don't know. That's awesome. They sound great. And sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Uh, please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Dude, whenever I'm in a hotel setting, I blame my childhood. All I think of is sweet, the sweet life of Zack and Cody. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. This is On the sweet behalf, life! I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Oh, how nice. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, Relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time. My name is Esteban and Ricardo, Ricardo Julio de la Rosa Ramirez. Need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. Shout out to my sound alerts not letting the smash work. Just, just play it. Play it. Smash. Oh, so it works then? There you go. Yeah, the smash is being weird, Chet. I don't know why it doesn't work. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Thanks. Anyway. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Don't tell me how to live my life, Robin! Oh, it's just one surprise after another. Uh, I Let's haven't seen it properly. Mr. Tell me. Which day was he? Ah, no. Sunday. Do you mean the Prindle? Would you like Am or Fum? 
I'm a little, I'm already a little winded. I hope we don't run into any more trouble. Are all the family names strange? Uh, this is just a stage name, I guess. Oh, sure. I How much of the story so will I play? I'm not it's sure. We'll see. It's most some rule of Penaconis. We'll see how far I get. Or the families. But I don't think I'm finishing okay, it tonight. Okay, there's no cue in the saying. lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. Let's go find Miss Allie. Well, to the folks that wanted me to talk to Miss Allie, I have to talk to Miss Allie anyway. Hey, Dennis. 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 Greetings, esteemed guests. I'm Dennis, the lobby manager. It's a pleasure to meet you. Our lobby manager, it's my responsibility to attend to the guests' needs and help them resolve their issues. Since you are here, I assume you're not familiar with the hotel. Please allow me to offer suggestions. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, I'm good. No running in my lobby! Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. About time. Please forgive Ugh. us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. God, it who voices Allie? She at sounds so time, familiar. It is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. Is this Anjali? You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every God, of this your sounds like four dreams. different people. Save your favorite happy bits and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Nah, this isn't Felicia. Regarding the method of usage, it's the very Dreamscape close. Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams. It sounds like Angeli. You may take the elevator. This over sounds there also like Celeste room. Perez. God, I wonder who that is. Wow, look at my little dream pass. Google is friend? Yeah, too bad they don't. Not everybody announces it. Application automatically installed on your phones. Dope. Invitation, dear dream chaser, welcome to... Oh, hold on. <clears throat> dear dream chaser, welcome to Pentagoni. From the moment you set foot in the reverie, a splendid and dreamlike journey had already lifted its curtains. It is not easy to put down the hustle and bustle of real life, and extraordinary courage is also needed to make the choice to full-heartedly embrace the dream. We have the confidence to promise that, thanks to the family's most meticulous management, only sweet nectar and melodious tunes await you ahead. Neat. Dream advisory. Oh, I'm not reading all this. The fuck? What, you want me to read the turns of service too? Disgusting. New handbook. Oh, brother. It's Lee. Thank you. Uh, more handbook pages will be unlocked. Da -da -da -da. Record everything you encounter. Another thrilling trailblaze. Oh, that's neat. And a little, a little journal. Select the record your current feelings. Oh, a little journal. Speaking of, it appears no one has asked you a certain question. What kind of trip do you enjoy? Straight toward local tourist destination. Slum the day away with the room. Within the room, follow the passing currents of other pedestrians. Well, if I'm going on a trip, I'm looking at the destination. Rule four. Whoops. Wait, what about rule four? Well, I can't look at rule four. There are stickers. Yo, know, I don't want to use this loser. Yeah, sure. I'll use I'll use this boy. We'll put him right there. Did it. Back. Guest notice. Hey, we did that one. Hey, we did that one. Number three. Well, I can't do rule four because you guys are in... Wait, do I have to put all three? Uh, I guess. I suppose I'll use all these fucking losers. Rule four is in one? Oh. Okay. Fine, I'll read it. I'll read all of it. <clears throat> Maintain a calm mind. Intense emotional fluctuations may cause unexpected sensations when entering the dream, such as the sensation of falling, weightlessness, or pain. Please and 
enter the dream lying on your back. Please do not attempt to enter the dream while facing down, kneeling, or other positions, you naughty boy, you. This will minimize the risk of drowning! Please do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand, naughty naughty. The dreaming fluid in the dream pool is already a fast-acting sedative and does not need external pharmaceutical assistance. If you cannot enter the dream despite having soaked in the liquid for a long time, please contact the hotel staff. Please do not enter the dream naked. Your initial appearance in the dreamscape is the same as how you entered it. In order to not startle other visitors, please enter the dream only after you have ensured that you are appropriately dressed. So, keep your dong in your pants. Please do not assume the identity of another individual. The family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. On behalf of the Oak, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and the Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. We did it. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Did you guys see how they're promoting that new uh, If movie? The Imaginary Friends movie? I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, John Krasinski is directing this movie called If, aka Imaginary Friends. Um, if you don't know, John Krasinski is the guy from The Office uh, who played Jim. And uh, Ryan Reynolds is in the movie, and he's one of the main characters. And to promote the movie they literally they literally recreated the meme or, or the joke the bit from the office where it's um where jim switches with one of his acting buddies and uh yeah it was it was really funny i highly recommend checking it out how do i get down there what exactly would that look like Oh, I can't wait. I think I'm gonna let this treasure just... Wait, Sai, you talk to Allie? Oh, yeah, 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 relax. It's gonna be 420, isn't it? If I ask chat, if I ask Allie and Allie tells me my room number is 420, chat, you owe me. You owe me. Subbed. Welcome to the reverie, dear guest. How may I assist you? Uh, I'd like to learn about my room. Certainly, since you are a valued guest of the family, your room is is platinum suit. That was gonna be my next number, but you know what? That's funny. Six six six, located in Zone Twelve. Uh, our suites feature multi-story and well-sealed structures. Each suite contains a separate parlor and provides twenty-four-seven drink and performance service. All right, I'm done with you. So what you're saying is, <clears throat> welcome to Hasbin Hotel. Anyway, I'll see myself out. Um well, face recognition fails, lousy robot. Shh, impersonator. I drop biddies for the six six six. But um pump look at this Fancy jolly little kid. You think you're better than me? You think you're better than me, you ghost? Anyway. Another so chest. Tired. Uh, I don't think I could go all the way down here. Oh. Yeah. This area ahead is not available. Alright. Up the elevator we go! Up the elevator! Up the- Up the elevator we go! I did see that, Sydney. That's fucking wild. Ah. Uh, look Our at it. So way. peaceful. This is a long hallway. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? I agree. Welcome to Walt Disney World. It's giving me the sting line. Huh? Oh my god, these kids are privileged. Hello there, bird! Dr. Blues! Remain silent. Remain silent. Hey, 
There it is. Can you see me? Who are you? Obviously, I'm an origami bird. You can call me Dr. Blues. Got it. Make sure you never forget. I'm Swamp with Oric if you have any questions. To the Great Tree, Origami Bird's Gathering Spot. Bet. All I got is I won, chat. I won! That motherfucker said, welcome to the Tiki Room. At the Tiki 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 Room. At the Tiki 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 Room. Can't wait for Jingyuan to come so I can... Good luck! Best not to take dreams too literally. Damn, they heard me yawn and they were talking about that. The entire history of the Honkai? I have not, but um... We did have it on the Wheel of Decisions. And I know that chat really liked those streams, so we'll probably do it again in the future. But we haven't watched that, no. I hear a phone ringing. Where's the phone? Quit giving me the stink eye. All right, bitch. Damn, you're like 12. Relax. Not even. You're like four. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Damn, we're still looking. We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Thank God. Well, how about a drink first? Huh? Penicone's Soul Glad is very famous. Hey, the Soul Glad. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Huh? Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Oh. Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. Mm -hmm. You recall correctly, but there was more to this. Invite. Oh, brother. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the watchmaker, father of Penaconi, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a hidden what message? What about This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, uh -huh. would play an accompanying tune. Right. But the box that was sent to us was slightly unusual. Huh? The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. What? Also, the Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress oh. call method regularly used by the nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits huh. could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? About uh, three months ago. When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. And not me. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. Hmm. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penaconi, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. Uh -huh. He did say In that. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded <laughs> a little strange. Damn, are you criticizing? Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Oh, damn. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something Are you else? saying that you think she sounds like dog shit and should quit being a singer? Wow, well, that's kind of harsh. It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. 
and your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell the others? Because the kids. We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. Hey! But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, what are you guys I talking did. about? Which is why, before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. Wow, but not me? <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. Um, I too just found out about the invite thingy. That's because you were zonked out the whole ride. No one had the chance to tell you. Why are you yelling at me? I had a nightmare. Thank you very much. Who sent the invite? What is We're doing the, the 2.0 story? Gathering all of the factions into Penicone. And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are hmm. too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Ah, yes. Penicone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Yay, famed resort of the cosmos! In their lifetime. Mm -hmm. to your yeah. Get some rest and... All right, don't mind if I do. I'm going to knock the flippity floppity out. The decor in here is a little... Uh, Glad for my taste. About the watchmaker. They say he's a historically important figure in Penacone, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw but. How and why he's involved with that in God, Will's voice is great. Why his name popped up in the encrypted Dude, message allegedly. Dude, thank everybody for joining me. Was... I know I'm very tired, but I appreciate everybody I'm joining me, no watching me play now. the Penacone story. Uh, about the family, about the dream journey. Uh, that's enough to chat. the guest room. Actually, hold on. The decor in here. The dream Penacone is divided. Oh, Penicone's... whatever. Past the... I thought it was in reference to uh, my dream. Not in a shaken, not stirred. Brock Chalmers, <laughs> my dear friend, are you in this bitch? I heard you say shaken, not stirred. Your stream is cool and very enjoyable. Hey, I appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> too rich for my taste, good man. Alright, let's get in there. Oh, oh, treasure! Hey, Soto! Side, buy chat a drink. Hey, how about you gift me 10 subs and then I'll consider buying you a drink? How about that? They turn Pikachu in, into a drink? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Giovanna, Chief Dream Nurse. Can I have milk, but without cereal? No. You could talk to Himiko to know more? Or Himiko? There's well. Oh, there she is. What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room, or... Do you have something on your mind? I had a bad dream. Uh, I had a bad dream. The dream, Penicone, is as for me. Uh, and before the dust settled. One can't discuss the, but the veracity of these stories remains untraced. All right, now. well, I want to know more about I my dream. Uh, you Not this. Be exhausted. Where's Marcella? You guys lied to me. Has she returned to her room already? Ba -na -na. Odd. Why is my room door open? Oh. Speak with the crew? 
I literally heard March 7 talking about the bathtub. Hey, girl, hey! I can't sleep from all the excitement, huh? I can't wait to experience and the get in the tub and shut the hell up! Huh? Who said that? Uh... About Robin. You know, it's weird. Well, noticed it too about how Miss Robin's voice sounded. I did notice a voice theory? crack in the recording. Put my finger on it. And I guess it was on purpose. But it was different than usual. Could she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Insisting on performing under such circumstances. Miss Robin is a superstar among celebrities. Uh, the moment of dusk. Hmm. All right. Uh, don't worry. Nah, I'm ready for my Disney experience. Return to my room. I've never been in my room in the first place. I'm glad I didn't go yet. Seems the older I get, the harder. Well, well, well. Adventuring, just let me close this door real quick. Jeez. Oh, I commanded. All right. I see you've entered my chambers. How fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. Well, you knew this was my room, so... This is my room. Uh, what are you doing here? We meet again, friend! <laughs> That's right, pal. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. Damn, you want to take a bath this together? Jeez. But half a system hour ago... It was still mine. Huh? A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. Lucky number? You mean 666? You were the one who transferred it to me? You were the one who arranged the check-in? Uh... No, no. I only let you have my room. Damn, why do you say it so Pentagon is a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? <laughs> he sounds... Bro, every sentence he Think ends about it with the type of people who can even afford to stay here. The reverie. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan... <laughs> You think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? Bro, he, he, I can hear the snap at the end of every sentence. You guys hear it? Like, is that just me? Stop looking at me with your Danganronpa looking ass eyes. Put on your glasses. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? I can hear your boob window in your voice. What do you want to talk about? Pass. Ah, cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. See what I mean? Well, simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. I'm the going to pound you until you beg for mercy! Well, relax, chat. Uh, then it seems the family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Pass. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand Pass. to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. Oh, he is IPC. I forgot about that. We found that out. We found that out through. It's clear um, you're not just one of the crowd. Ha! Topaz, no. right? Through Topaz's story. Pass. So magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it, or you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? Uh, because I'm not a psychopath. The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. <laughs> Mr. Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? More like the ball with the 
baseball bat. Hey, what up, Victory? I was told HSR would make me cry, so I've avoided it because I easily cry. Also, sup, sup. Uh, nah. Maybe. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Your acting's good. I like that. <laughs> Bro, stop flirting with me. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. I'm when the going time to is pound right, you until you I beg for mercy. For stop liking it. I don't like it. I'm just saying. Of course, you what can number is with your colleagues as well. I've avoided all spoilers. Or go yeah. as far as to use me in turn. Huh? I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. Hey, you want me to use you? Huh? I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. I I hate him. I hate it. I'll think about it. I cannot make this decision on my own. You should really be going. I'll think about it. <laughs> Very well. Now get your boob window out of my fucking room. You sassy bitch. I bet you have the same hip sway as fucking oh, yes. Black Before Swan. I go, let's play another game. Another? A simple game. To okay. Get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Okay. Ding, a chip is tossed into the air and in the blink of an eye, it disappears. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine because... Because... It's in neither one? Friend, the game has already begun. There it is! You an offer, one you can't refuse. Ooh, okay. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? Oh, shit! What are you doing in my room? Huh? Your room? Ah, uh, this is my room? My friend. That's my real friend. Also, he is a thousand times better with the sunglasses. I, I'm not even kidding with the sunglasses off. He's, he's like a six. Uh, look, I'm just saying with a six. But with the shades on, he like shoots up to a nine. I'm just saying. 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 Anyway. Sayu, you have a type. And what's the type? If you say anything that isn't a redhead, you're incorrect. Maybe a goth girl. And muscular women. And, you know, the ones that are just cool. And goth girls. <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Penacony long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. I don't like them. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. Okay. All right. Sure. That was a threat. All right. Um, fucking weirdo. Um... All right, chat, real genuine question. First of all, I prefer her. Second of all, real genuine question. Um, this dude, with the hat, with the shades, now that we've gotten a bit to know him, scale from one to 10, no bias. Scale from one to 10, go. Scale to one to 10, go. 10, you're insane. Nine? Seven, six. I feel like seven and six is fine. Eight, I'll give you. Anything higher than eight, ah, I'm no. like, you're, you guys are insane. I'm pleading the fifth. Lamau, I love him. <laughs> God. This just... I'm just learning more about my chat every day. Anyone who said higher than eight, I see the type of person you are. Anyone who said lower than a six, I understand as well. 
Literally, if you're eight and lower, I get. If you're higher than an eight, I see what you're into. Just know that. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. Hand him with a snap. Hand him with a snap. <laughs> uh, thank you. <sighs> why haven't you left? Um... Uh, why haven't you left? Why do I have to? Because this is my room. <sighs> have I come to the wrong room? <sighs> this can't be. Before I said anything, I even made sure that I had the right room number. Bro, dude. Why is it in red? Do huh? I have the wrong wing or even the wrong fog? <sighs> I'm sorry. This hotel is huge and the hallways all look the same. By the way, chat. It's easy to get lost in here. I just want to say, just because I'm saying, why is it red? That does not mean that you tell me why it's red. All right, chat. All right. Just because my dialogue was different. No. <gasps> Did the choices I make actually make different? That would actually be cool. Anyway, I have a strange feeling about this. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room too. As long as I'm all right? But before I go, can I ask <gasps> you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps. No, am I in a dream? Am I in a dream? Am I already I in the know. dream? Stop fucking with me. Don't ask, don't you dare ask me the same goddamn question. Don't you dare. Don't you dare ask me the same goddamn question you asked me in the dream. Have we met somewhere before? You motherfucker. Um, I was about to ask too. Whoa, deja vu. Perhaps in the dream. Oh, I have to say that chat. Perhaps in a dream. Yes. It was a dream. I had a Bro. dream on my way here and- Why is it in red? <laughs> blink of a sob in my head. Why is it red? <laughs> this is your name, isn't it? Yes! Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you! How do you know me? Do you still remember me? I'm that famous now. Do you still remember me? <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My hmm. memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Okay, okay, okay. Galaxy Ranger huh. Acheron. This is what they call me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can call me whatever you want. Galaxy Ranger? What the hell is a Galaxy Ranger? What the fuck is a Galaxy Ranger? What is that? You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Followers of the hunt? Wow. I might be a hunt. I might follow the way of the hunt just for the name alone. Because that sounds sick as shit. <laughs> hunt faction like Cienjo? Bro, I'm one of the hunt. If I'm a galaxy ranger, bet. J name alone. Name alone. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. Mm. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. Oh, dude. That is all I can say. If this is the biggest foreshadow to the ending of Panacone, that would be insane. Imagine, like imagine, Adventurine is the villain. He bets it all, fights us, loses. Bro. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. That would be a crazy Could foreshadow to the end of Panacone. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Oh? Uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Ah, you're back? Ah, you're back. It didn't take that long for a, uh, for a reunion. Mm. Uh. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Dude! 
I'm not gonna lie. Akron's cool. I, I, like... You show Akron the way. She thinks you again and again. It's so funny because a lot like of people, a lot of people I'm sure are like, Akron's hot, whatever the fuck, you know? For me personally, I'm like, Akron just seems neat. A good friend. Like, that's where my brain is at. I was like, she's just... She's just dope. Like I could actually like hang out with her and talk to her. I I, I don't know. I I, I kind of dig her vibe. Here, let me. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, get out of here. You've been replaced. That's my bestie. What is this? Music? No, not what I wanted. Music? Hey, it is music. Nice. Welcome. To the circus of value. To Kinnacone, huh? Honored guest. Uh, okay. I haven't gotten there yet. Damn. Let me at least uh, get in the nude. You approach the dream pool and hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room. Fragrance perme permeating the air. Together, these two elements envelop you in their embrace. Listen to sweet, profound, and luxurious. Reminiscent of ripened fruits and the distant ocean painted by the hues of a setting sun. Well done! I need that sound effect. Dude, I want to replace the way to go superstar with the well done from Donkey Kong 64. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. Why does it sound like Nouvellet? Chat! I talked about the story yesterday on Kong Chronicles, but because there's a little bit more of you here, or, or about the same, uh, I don't know if you guys were there yesterday. I talked about how I have people approach me about the Oratrice Mechanique Denise Cardinal, even though Ray Chase was literally in the room with me. We were in the same building, literally maybe 20, 30 feet away from each other. And, and people came to me about the meme, even though he's the one that actually says it. And that's, and at that moment I realized, oh, I might have an influence on people. <laughs> I literally had this talk with fucking uh, Amanda earlier today. It was really funny. <laughs> anyway, um, lie down in the dream pool. You curl your body, lying down in the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the tolling of evening bells. The wild wind rustles through the barren plains. The nightingales, seagulls, swans, ah, black swan, and ravens add their symphony to the choir. No, I'm not Nouvellet. I voice Sino and Jing Yuan. And I never said I was. Pendulum swings. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. Ooh, cutscene. Take it off! Uh, I mean, keep it on, haha. Uh -huh. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow. There's a movie body. like this. Yeah, bubble. Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Welcome to Imagine ASMR. A dreamland. Imagine the dreamland. What are we looking at? Huh? Mikhail. Whoa, pay attention, Chad. Pay attention. Z Z Z! Sorry. Huh? Misha? Well, that was clearly Misha shouting. Uh, what is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? The way this motherfucker says bust. Anyway. You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved Dude, I the love Dr. Ratio's eyes. Fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling. I can't believe they're both part of the IPC. <laughs> You mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? 
I'm gonna say, Aventurine looks pale as fuck here. In this shot, I don't know what it is, but his skin tone is matching his hair color. Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock -esque. Boob window. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Damn. Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the hey, what's up, Nico? And the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Uh, where are you going? TikTok, hello from the English VA of Clocky. Hey, what up? We're Back doing well, dude. Home to tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. And by some idiot, I mean you. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, you're really gonna snitch? I thought better of you, Dr. Ratio. But Papa, if you're hot, whatever. Oh, it's nothing more than a few rocks. Yeah, he looks way better in the shot. so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Um, clearly the arm pretty sure. Dr. Ratio is IPC. Am I misremembering that chat? Is Dr. Ratio not IPC? Because he's not Genius Society. Dr. Ratio isn't IPC? Intelligentsia Guild. He's an intellectual guild. He cooperates with the IPC since the Intelligentsia Guild is funded by the IPC. Okay, so, okay, then that was my mistake. My bad. Not part of it, but dependent. Got it. Adventurine though is IPC. Understand. Thank you. Thank you for the clarification, because I really did think it was the same. Thank you. I actually did, uh, got it. Without that adventuring stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? Dude, his eyes look awesome. I, I, what, honestly, however you feel about adventuring, whether you like his earring, whether you like his booba fucking window, whatever you like about him, my dead ass favorite part is the eyes. His eyes look so good. It reminds me of the snake from Jungle Book. Also, yes, I did hear the Amber Lord. Uh, and is this tattoo for all IPC or is it for those higher numbers? And if that's the case, does Topaz have one? And I don't remember that she has one of these. <laughs> You're funny. I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. Topaz it's doesn't have my it. my job. How would a gambler wrest Panacone back from the IPC otherwise? Frontier prison. Interesting. <laughs> Don't worry, doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. Or to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. Mm. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Uh. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. Dude, there are so many things at play here. Well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. Better be good What's your plan? <laughs> Still think there's mafia involved well, in no some need way, to yeah. expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. He said that with such sass. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration ah. demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sagonian upbringing? Sorry, I just realized what threw me off about the scene. The mouths aren't moving. And I know that some people are like, well, yeah, Sai, it's... Why would they be? Because... Because Honkai has always been really good about matching the audio to the mouth movement. Hmm. He's talking to himself? Is that what he's doing? He's thinking? 
And I feel like they should have added a filter or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm too. Maybe my brain is too in anime. <laughs> then, do you trust me? Hold on. Get to the point. What you're planning on you to expand on that damn gambler? I don't know, because it sounds like this is in response to him. Anyway, that's ignore me. That depends on you. Hmm. Hmm. So you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Okay. I did not mean to offend. That's a manipulation no, tactic. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Afghans. Even under the, the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Let's Orphan see. Daddy? The Garden of Recollection and Daddy. the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... You know what's really interesting? I don't know if they took this into consideration. I know that I keep pausing, but this is this is how my brain works. I'm sorry, Chad. And I know that I'm never going to finish this fucking game, uh, this story today because of how slow I'm going and constantly stopping. Um, I realized something about Adventuring's actor. And I don't know if the way it was directed, I don't know how Phil did it uh, or whatever, but it matches how Topaz talks. It's very business, but also the pacing of it. It's... It's just very interesting to me. It's a very light little detail, but I it, I was like, oh, it reminds me of Topaz, the Speaking way she talks. of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a galaxy ranger. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. Huh? Well, he's gone. <laughs> well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well. Seems like I'm on my own again. I mean, it's Dr. Ratio, like the fuck. Get ratioed, buddy. So this is the dreamscape? The atmosphere here creeps me out. And really? I never noticed that? Noise I, I, I don't know if it was the voice direction of Phil. I, 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 I don't know if it was intentional uh, on the actor or no. whatever. But it's just something interesting. Watchmaker's advice. The impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it. And then you shall be granted an audience. This way. Can you see me? Over here. Um. Please, come this way. All right. I I'm... thought I heard a familiar voice. Misha! Is it coming from... Ah, you're here. Wonderful. Oh, I I thought you wouldn't... Yeah, I got him. Welcome to the Gallery of Yes, thoughts. we did, Levi. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. I really like uh, Misha's voice. We meet again? Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. No, I'm not finishing the quest this, this stream. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing As a revamp. Has Star like Genshin a difference between? I apologize what do you mean? for any in unpleasantness in your stay. Uh, but if you enter the golden hour, I mean every I'm character sure in this game is different. All your troubles will dissipate in an instant. What happened to Reverie? Uh, oh, you're asking about the Reverie in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. Nine hours total! Yeah, we're not doing that. What is Golden Hour? You've perhaps read about it in your dreamscape past. There might be a day next I week where I'll be able to finish it, but... Golden Hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penacony. And yeah, we're finishing this next week. There's no fucking way. Midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped dude. in the dream. To Better avoid rose. any physical or mental worry burden good. on guests, Hell yeah, I mean, we're doing great. Dream has been Farina at enough. home? Shut the hell up. So, don't worry. I just picked up a note. note. Did you find it? Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by it was my mistake i failed it oh so i guess i'm the only one that got that from the watchmaker you just go right through that door to reach golden hour better can't i wish you an unforgettable dream 
Oh, I got a Behind spicy cough, so it won't be here. Ooh. I'm looking forward to it. And that's the end of the stream, everybody. Thank you all for stopping by. You guys have been amazing. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a blast. Thank you. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Man, Sai, you done it again. What a great stream. What a fantastic... Also, can I just say something? No one... Keep playing goddamn the Honkai Star Rail. If there was a bit, it was muted. Well, it wasn't even that funny anyway. Oh, all, no. I said, all I said was no one really noticed that um, the intro was animated. No one pointed it out. Like my starting soon screen. Also, this scene looks immaculate. Yo, I'm Peter Pan! Oh, I'm not Peter Pan! I'm falling! Damn, you ain't shit. I understood that reference. Bro, the Honkai Star Rail team, just a bunch of memers, huh? Uh, are you alright? No, I just face planted on the floor. What do you think? Oof. Are we in heaven or? <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. You've arrived at the dreamscape. Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. You don't say. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. Robin gives a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze with yours. She smiles, and you see ripples shimmering in the depths of her late green eyes, followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. I like these little three dots. By the way, the thing that I was saying was no one at the beginning of the stream pointed out that the starting soon screen was animated. I'll show it again before I cut myself off. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, chat. Anyway. Your vision dims as your Literally, body dissolves. The taste of victory was horrible, but figured... Nom, 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 nom. nom, nom. Yeah, because you scuffed. Shut the fuck up. Yes. Shut up. Anyway, uh, become one with the fluidity of time and space. You resonate with, uh, with and become attuned to the serene fusion of frequencies. Your heart drums leading this symphony. Don't worry. Just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. I doubt it. Inhale. <laughs> Now, they chant instant instinct compels and the stagnant fluid in your chest begins to flow again oh no a gentle warmth emanates from within every inch of your being your melodies slow down fade away like a lullaby a seven colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and closes your eyes its movements tender and compassionate you feel contentment and drift into a deep slumber you open your eyes and feel vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. What do you, what does that mean? What did you just do to me? Did you just brainwash me? What was that sound There's just a now? Song with a harmonic tune. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. How do you leave the dream? The dream of Penacony we have smelling salts? formed by Memoria. Later, later, Amos. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. Mm. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water, but once you get the hang of it, you can float Good old smack and swim in the face. on the surface effortlessly. That actually would be wild. You're in the middle of combat and you get hit so fucking hard that you get sent back to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great analogy. Now I get it. This is deep. Does that mean I can levitate in the air? 
Theoretically, you can. Let her, Ozzy. But it would be very difficult to pull off. After all, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria yet. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. Hey, at least you know. Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. That's the story. We've barely we touched the good. surface. Have a blast. Okay, goodbye. I got a text. Uh, hee <laughs> hee, awesome. We can send messages even in dreams. You there? I'm there now. I'm there, I'm there. I'm there, I'm there. Hey, what up, Inky? Uh, Himiko and Mr. Yang, they will want different deep. Uh, they all went to different dreamscapes. Moment of dusk, I'm planning to check it out. It's gonna be a pain to meet up again, so why don't we split up for now? Bet. I heard the dreamscape sales store there is super famous. Can you please check it out for me? I guess. The dreamscape sales store. Should I visit it? Bro. Oh, this shit is wild. Bustling. There are so many people living in the dreamscape. You might be a little dead at the end. You might be a little dad at the end. Oh, sad. Man, I can't wait to see who dies. And then when we find out who it is, <laughs> you're going to get banned. This street is populated. No spoilers, chat. The Rolling Rascal. A. Holy shit, damn. That's awesome. But they're almost at their goal already. Alright. Ah. Uh, what are you gonna do? Run me over. What are you gonna do? You fucking pussy. Run me over, coward. Run me over. Run me over. Ah! <gasps> I was fucking memeing, dog. I was memeing. I can't believe that shit worked. Violate traffic rules and get hit by a vehicle in Pentagoni. That's actually fucking hilarious. Hey, what up, Joel? Hey, it's an achievement. You know how I am. <laughs> achievement hunting and shit. Why do they have a kid selling merch? Nice. Dude, this is sick. This is sick, dude. What is this? A news adventure. Dude, we're gonna be... Oh my god. Why did they come out with this now, chat? Why did they come out with this now? Chat? I wanna play this, but I wanna play Persona! Why did they fuck me? What the hell are you? Did that billboard just move? Fuck these billboards. <laughs> Mr. Herring rides and waves our taste buds. Thanks for the sticker. Shut up. Shut up. I thought I killed that man. Ooh, the music. Chest. Suffering from success. Dude, I really am gonna have to at some point start switching between Honkai and Because the thing is is that like Honkai Star Rail, like this is a brand new region type of thing. And I'm so interested. Because Genshin right now it's just Lantern Knight, and we do that and then we're good, but Fuck. This this is gonna be a bit, huh? Do I have the script for Pentagoni just like Fontaine? Nah, not this time, fellas. I mean, other than the obvious fact that someone's gonna die, nah.
Padam panantan. The most luxurious commodities <laughs> Fucking pop that balloon. Oops, spoilers. Okay, I run. I love you, buddy. Bye. According to the map. According to the, the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanic. Is that a giant eyeball? Where? Where's a giant eyeball? Where? Where's a giant eyeball? Am I blind? I can't see this giant eyeball you're talking about. Well, I'll never know. To use the phone booth, try installing a robotic arm, getting a tattoo, or raising a few. What? Getting a tattoo? In Pentagon? Perish the thought. According to. Dude, I could lose myself in this fucking game. What is that? Huh? What are all of these for? I'm scared. It's literally right behind you. A giant eye? According to the map, that's the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? No, I went the other way. My bad. Oh, that is a giant eyeball. Man, that's like I'm in Tomorrowland. From the astral experience. Welcome to Dreamscape Sage Store. Oh, I don't like your voice. How do you know who it's I am? It's the magic of psychoanalysis, sir. <laughs> Dr. Edward is happy to assist you. Here's where you'll get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes. From the top-notch productions of Clock Studios to... Private donations. <laughs> we have it all. If I'm not mistaken. This is your first visit to Pentacle, isn't it? It is. Why, yes, it is. Please be rest assured that Doctor Edward will provide the best service you can find. We'll provide the best You'll service. Your first dreams game, and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. <laughs> And that's the end of my analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this dream book. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor and is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Machiavelli. Hey, I'm Machiavelli! Sure this dream book is perfect. Uh, how do you know what I want? Is this the memory of Machiavelli? Dr. Strawberry K, I think for the 10 months. Guarantees regarding the authenticity of dream bubble content. Oh. Dreams are just dreams. So enjoy. Hmm. I feel like you're lying to me. Let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Now, when you say the dream bubble, you mean like an actual dream bubble and not the eyeball, right? Oh, okay, I guess we're touching the eyeball. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? No. Uh, am I Akivili now? What's going on? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through a oh. person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with huh. something similar. Maybe one of the missing trailblazers? The one of the missing nameless? I mean, are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning. Akivili, I'm listening. Do I have to do the voiceover for Akivili myself? <laughs> My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. That's really funny. Perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the That's voice. That's really funny. However, 
Ah, can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's yes. voice for our civilians. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Um, no. I... Um, about that. I don't really know how to roar, you know what I mean? So... Yeah... I don't really... You know... Hold on chat, one second... Chat, do we have drops enabled? Yes? Okay. Cause I didn't have I haven't I didn't have drops like on. Uh there we go. Cause I wasn't sure if we did. Anyway. Anyone's voice will do. Does it have to be a voice of someone I'm close to? That's quite a convenient feature. The subconscious has vast potential, sir. Here, so. Thank you for the prime. Well, please, make it. Art 7, Don Hong, Pom Pom. Let me see who else. Himiko, well, myself, of course. Myself in a different... You know? We play as Caleb all the time, so let's do... Your voice in a different channel. No oh. Dr. Edward will make it happen. Hey, thank you for the raid, uh, Suzuka, and thank you for the raid, Haru. The replication is complete. Now, we're gonna... Do you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct. Uh -huh. You rode snowmobiles into the Tykian Stadium huh? and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without oh. pay. Will you plead guilty to this charge? No. <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. But now. You sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half what is happening? Of crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. You kept them in the restroom, where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Do you plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. Better scar of the, of the sea. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole you area what? needed disinfection. That's a lot. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pom-pom pies. Do you plead guilty to- The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. Damn. Ahem. Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. Damn. There are I'm going to pound you until you beg for mercy. Yo, event. chill. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glad. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. It sounds very personal. Break into the conductor's exclusive snack vault. This sounds very personal. What do all these have to do with Akivili? This trailblazing expedition of yours is indeed an elating one. Did Soul Glad really exist in that era? My help. By order of wow, you're putting ads in my dreams! You're putting ads in my dreams! And that's not even half the list. There are a total. <sighs> Sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No. You are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. Damn. Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. Huh? 
that's all for the content of this stream, Papa. How's your experience? Who the fuck? What do all these have to do with Akivili? <laughs> this stream level aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in the experience of the dream... That was Aha, the Eon of Elation, who blew up the train. He was disguised as a passenger for a little bit in the lore. That's really funny. So, that first dream bubble for free was just sales pitch, this huh? This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, are you going to buy it? Uh, I'll buy it. Nameless memory bubble. An unusual dream bubble said to contain the dream of Akavili, a fallen eon. How much money I got? Can I even afford this? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, hold on. One, two, yeah, I'm fine. Give me the fucking dream bubble. I'm rich. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> As this is your first time using the dream bubble, here's a sticker for you. Thank you for my stickers and an eyeball. Hoping I would find Ooh, some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that. Better victory. She went that way. Huh? Get her! What? What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Who the fuck is that? All right, let me get, let me implement these stickers of mine. Yeah, let them just stack on top of each other. These are all my toy strides, by the way. Oh, sticker collection. Oh, oh. Watch your step now. Don't tell me what to do. You want to fight? That's what I thought. You bitch. Right, that flavor town. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Huh? Oh, she's cute. S sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Ooh, place her. How can I help? What happened? Who are you? Uh, I'll do my best to protect the pretty young lady. Tee hee, who am I, Sampo? Hey, look. She has an accomplice. I love how. Good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. Uh, all right. You can try. Ha! Huh. There's more to life. Ooh. Oh, chat. The music. Ah. Uh. Existence is unity. There's no time to lose. All will be swept away by the wind. Eternal step. Dead return. Here. It's thunder. Let's settle this. Let me hit you with some fucking knowledge. A test. SAS Pekipi. Take this. The measure of truth. L plus ratio, dummy. He's not built. Some value, I suppose. Zero points. Follow up. Follow my charge. It's pitiless. Mm. 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 Dude, that base. That's enough, boys. Huh? Uh, sir, sir. Uh, my guy? What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Not as gruff as I thought he'd be. I don't hate the voice. Not as gruff as I thought he'd be. Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. It's Riflee's cousin. He's the officer. 
sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. Um, that's kind of racism presumptuous. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Dude, this really is just Risley. However, his, damn, just his body. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. You know who he sounds like, chat? And I might be crazy here. He sounds like a young version of fucking, uh, like of the, the main character from Wolf Among Us. Bujo literally said it as I was pondering it. Bro, he sounds like Bigsby. Is that his name? Oh God, what was his name? Big B, not Bigsby. The fuck, I was close though. Dude. It would be really funny if it was the same guy. I don't think it is though. No, it wasn't Steve Bloom, guys. Relax. It was Adam Harrington. It would be crazy. It's not. It's not Adam Harrington in this. But that would have been really funny. Yeah, Big B Wolf. Oh, whoops. Yes, sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. Dude. Those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Okay, when he's talking normally and not their projecting, youth and inexperience, they mistook an he does have that texture that I wanted. A criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. Eric, I'd like Bra. to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. Dude, nah, he's great. I love his voice. What about a stowaway? Who's the silver haired guy? Who are the Bloodhound family? Firefly is voiced by Annalisa Fisher. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. Dude, there's a a lot of new actors in this uh in in Penaconi. I don't hate that. I kind of love that. I, I love it when I don't recognize the voice actor because it's different and you get to hear someone new. And if they're good, then great. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penaconi. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? All right, don't make it weird. <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Hey, Arlena, Just thank you for the part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. <laughs> the I young bloodhounds. I wish you bloodhound. an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Happy to help. Well, my help doesn't come for free. Galactic baseballer at your service. <laughs> you're funny. Yeah, I got told that a lot. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? Uh, how do you know? Are you, are the nameless really that famous? Hmm. <laughs> you bet! The Interastral Peace Broadcast recently did a whole segment about uh -huh. your glorious achievements. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the Bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly. And I'm from the Iris family. Huh. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. Extra, extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. Oh, 
How cute. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. I can show Maybe you the things. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> That's awesome. I happen to need a tour guide. Don't you have work today? Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Sure. Over here. It's Sign not of a bad idea to get to know about this place. Ooh, new sticker. We got Gallagher. New treasure chest. Ooh, another sticker. Nice. It's my favorite gacha game, Jing Yuan. He's pretty dang cool. Good. That is the correct answer. Sweet. I just need one more. Oh. Whatever, bro. I just needed that for the stellar jade. Back. I'm going back and back. Do it again. Put Gallagher right there. Go. Close that. Um. I haven't caught your streams in a while because uh, I'm busy. Congrats on the new model, by the way. Well, thank you. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. OT Mall? The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. That is what people were uh, there saying. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. You guys think I can buy a car? As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, alfalfa? you can buy anything you fancy. You guys think I can buy a car? Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately... The transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. Mm. You can come back for them next time. I guess. Just outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. She is a patoot. And I don't trust her. <laughs> Can't trust her, chat. Huh? We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. No, I've never heard that in my life. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic soul glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Mm. Today, it's my treat. Alfalfa? Thank you. That's very nice of you. You shouldn't have. I should warn you, I do have very expensive tastes. Mm, that shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. <clears> hmm. <throat> hey, thanks for the money. <laughs> I would like to buy your most expensive thing. This is Pentaconis. Take your treat. I would like one dreamy cone, please. Mmm, dreamy cone. And I would also like a, um, a, uh, a potato, fr a potato fry sundae. And that will be all. I'm good. Are you done ordering? Then I'll pay up. I love their oatcake rolls. I get one from here every day. Uh, aren't those high in calories? Doesn't that get expensive? Well, that's why I only have one per day. True. Let's walk while we eat. It's time to head to the next stop. Chad, I'm hungry again. I had two tacos. I was doing pretty alright. <laughs> Fuck you! Um... I'm probably gonna get myself some cereal and pudding. Uh, I still gotta get in line. Cereal and pudding! Some book and pop. Cereal and pudding. Cereal and pudding. Better cat heck. Get away from me, you we'll freak! Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. Did you say the dark hour? Oh, sorry, golden hour, right, 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 right. <clears throat> Do you put the cereal in the pudding or? No, I put the cereal in the pudding and then I, you know, I just got run over. Uh, and then I like mix it all up. Over here, follow me. Bum, bum. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Wait, before you do that. Dr. Razor, you're not built for this. Uh, pfft, let's get either here. I'll get I'll get Jingli in here. Look, that's 
The statue hey, of Rocky it's our boy. Famous cartoon character. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penacony. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the Clocky, town of Clocky, who's gonna clock you? To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. Ten? Huh? His character design is a little surrealistic. Isn't having a clock as a character a bit ominous? Ominous? Clocky is a household name here. Mm. There would never be anything mm. ominous about him. Mm. Interesting. Right? Huh. Right? Huh? By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary wow, watchmaker? Wow, you don't say. Watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard oh, of I've him. Oh, I've heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony. The founder of the dreamscape. The man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond like the, the music. sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penacony as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person. Just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess. But everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. Well, they're not going to be. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penacony in droves. They held feast after feast. Eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penacony knows this name. Hmm. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. Yeah, because he's full of shit. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Valid point. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless... Wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you oh, like to take a picture brother. with him? Well, since you're so darn adorable. I'm allergic to cam and camera lenses. Aha, I know how this goes. You're gonna charge me a lot just for taking a pic, aren't you? Nah, I'll be nice. My pleasure. Here, give me your phone. Oh, hey, you're gonna hack into my hey, phone. Hey, hey. Huh? Help, help me! You hear a pitiful cre cry for help. Clocky's eye. What's that? Help, Clock help me! Pull me up! Help me! Do you have an accent? The eyelashes are beginning to be pulled out. Okay. Weird. Uh, that's weird. You want a photo with him? Sure. Can I crouch? I want to crouch, bro. Now then. It's done. It came out great. You're very photogenic. I guess. Help! Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Anyway. Come here, you. Come here, you. Yank. What the heck is that? Oh. Oh, I'm beautiful. Oh, gosh. Bet. Goodbye. It's British. After letting out an adorable chirp, the bird flew away. Before it left, it seems to have offered some kind of reward. The main thing is that you need to go to the tree first. Perhaps you can meet with it again there. See just what exactly the nice thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? Oh, did you not see it? The bird? I rescued a bird, a bird with sharp edges and points. A bird with sharp edges and well. Huh. <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. I really like Please her design. Follow me. It's cute. I'm not gonna lie, it's the most VTuber design I've seen in Star Rail. We can jump now? You fucking wish. Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater. That's Another the Psychonauts headquarters. 
has a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. Ha! Huh? The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious so, Anaconi Grand Theater. So let me get this straight. In real life, that's Since a prison? Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, uh, yes. family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacone with everlasting Former peace. prison. Okay, Chad, I'm sorry. And here we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Damn. I commit. Damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Next. Suddenly an eye, suddenly an eye opens in the abyss and begins to stare at you. After some time the eye closes, only darkness remains. Yeah, that's right. You freak. Do it! Fucking pussy. I'm walking here! That place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. Ah, the sponsorships. The ba -da -da -da. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacone. The gigantic soda bottle houses the Dude, this thing is, this map Soul is Glad huge. Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Oh, I already Invented know, Byron. By we we got hit by a car a long time ago. Idine, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa Juice known as Dreamly, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacone's dreamscape. Well, so it's not it real and extinct. the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. <laughs> uh, she abruptly freezes in that fleeting moment. You notice a cautious shift in the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brow, or perhaps somewhere behind you. Bitch, are you looking at me? Thanks to you and Hayden for always being a bright spot in my day. I'm glad, Condoriano. I'm glad for this up. Thank you. I'm glad I helped think of this up. Firefly returns to her warm and gentle disposition. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Breaking the fourth wall, head ass. I may musical end up playing, playing a lot of the overworld by myself. In Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories. And, uh... Transform into the destructive dream jolt troop. Oh. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. That child said, would you like to dance together? I'm dead. Hey, there's a ride attendant over there. Let me get some ID and token. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacone. May I ID tokens? tokens? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. <laughs> so far, Jingyuan has tied two kids and threatened there? another. I don't know if. <laughs> Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Penacone to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's live to the fullest. Let me see. 
Which one should we try Chat, first? I don't know how much more we have of the of the first can... quest because I'm assuming they're going to split this quest up. But I am slowly Sorry, fading. I want to finish at least the this first quest. And lucky wheel are pretty or get to a certain point. <sighs> Insert tokens. Ah, yes. Gotcha. Come on, humongous prize. Fuck. Well, you won something on your first attempt? Impressive. Yeah, but it wasn't a humongous prize. I guess. What else can we spend it on? Win a prize. Oh, nice. Oh, never mind. It's a three star. Gambling within my gacha game. There's even more gambling within my gambling. Ooh, treasure. I really do like the scenery. Uh, I, I'm genuinely surprised. I thought I wouldn't be as big of a fan. Let me get that portal real quick. At Space Anchor. Alright, then we keep gambling, I guess. We almost got a humongous prize, chat. Almost. They hate me. What is this? Upon use, your next draw for the lucky wheel and Pentacone guarantees you a special prize. Well, there you go. How long have we been playing tonight? I don't know. Come on, baby. Firefly so long. Jing Yuan needs a good spin. She's heading towards the bar? Huh? Wait, she's leaving? You fucking whore. Find Firefly and bring the sightseeing to an end. She went to the Please bar? Hey, what up, girl? What do you say? Ready? I'm a bit tired too. Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour. You made me waste Pretty money. Amazing, isn't no, I'm it? just kidding. It's nice. Everywhere is just magical. You sound a bit sad. I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. Oh? It's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. Hmm. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. I do find it very funny me. how every every one we Even saw in the I dream. Here, Wait, what? I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to <laughs> Hold on, let me reread this again. Share it with others. Okay, first of all, I do find it interesting that out of everybody, I just remembered in that dream that we saw. We saw Silver Wolf Sam. We saw uh, Acheron. We saw um, Robin and Sunday. We saw uh, Aventurine and Ratio. But we didn't see Firefly, which is really interesting. Uh, or did we? Uh, I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It, uh, it was willing to accept me even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place and that it makes me want to share it with others. You shouldn't attach your feelings to stuff like this. Are you really a stowaway? You didn't see her in the flashback, yeah. I... I'm a lawful resident. At least now I am. Now I am? So not hey, when you first came closer. here. Closer, please. I have a question for you. Uh-huh. Did you travel here alone? Oh, I didn't. My friends went to other dreamscapes. 
It depends on what you want to do. <laughs> Wait, yo. It depends on what you want to do. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Because? Uh-huh. Well... Someone's been following you. Oh, really? And before Don't it's turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Hmm. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. Hmm. Interesting. He's about five feet, nine inches ah. tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light. No. And barely audible. No. No. That way of walking no. Doesn't leave no. No. Don't you fucking dare. He looks like a skilled fighter. No. The covert kind. No, no, he not Sam Pond. No, not Sam <laughs> I reckon he has experience using knives like a short sword or a dagger. Oh, Do you no. know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes. Oh my god. Blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer. The trailblazer guy. <laughs> the trailblazer guy. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Damn, my guy's only 5'9". Yes. Thought you were six foot. Anyway, Sampo, I can't be dreaming, can I? You're such a hoot, buddy. This is Penacone. Of course you're in a dream. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You huh. helped your L06 open up to the outside. <sighs> Damn it. Um, this gentleman is? <sighs> oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all um, the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? That... No, no, that's, um, this is Firefly. You should get your eyes checked. Are you sure March 7th looks like this? My name is Firefly? I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. I love Zampo. He's a dumbass. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sampo, and I'm an old pal of Sampo. Bro, take this. Get the fuck out of here. No fucking way. I literally had that conversation with Monarch earlier today. Nice to meet you. Firefly, let's go. Come on. It's been so Come long on. since we last met each other. How can you just walk away like that? Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacone? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacone? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. No, it's the same VA, chat. Speaking of which. The same VA as Sampo. Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. Uh, I already got a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Huh? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Um... Well... Um... Pass. Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything ah, illegal. No. Sampo Creepy Kasky. Oh, boy. Pass. Oh, no. We can be friends. Use your sticker. 
Use a sticker. Use a sticker. Put you there. Like you're leaning on the... Nailed it. Then we'll put you there. Pass. Uh, uh but... Pass. And then we'll put you there. That's new. Is there another one? Did I miss a sticker? Oh. Note sticker. Ah. There we go. Nice. Do, 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 dun, dun, dun. Another little bubble. Oh, bubble. So. Well, let's see what happens. Also, let's see how different he does sound. Because I know that a bunch of chat is saying that Sampo sounds very different. Uh, here's the thing. With time, the vo your voice might tend to change. Or you might have to record sick. There's a bunch of different uh, reasons why. It might, uh, the voice itself might sound different, but it's still the same voice. Hey, you know, with Sampo Kusky by your side, you got a businessman, chef, he does it higher problem solving here. conversationalist all rolled into one. Pretty sweet deal, huh? Yeah, his voice doesn't sound higher. Don't worry, Miss Zila. Oh, watch your back. I think now his voice has just kind of like settled and gone lower. Uh, I mean, that happened with Sino. Shit happens, you know. I love this music. What a scam! Shut up, bitch. Anyway, his voice is sexier. Don't say that about Sampo Kaski. <laughs> Sampo and sexy do not go in the same sentence. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other Pymon side. Pymon sounded different in the beginning. Absolutely. How about we just bounce over there? He doesn't using sound that the different. Pinball machine. Pinball machine? He is not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland. Sampo's fluctuates. By the uh, voice fluctuates a lot. It, How it does. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. All right. Watch this. I've watched Mucha Lucha. Oh, I should probably read these. Nah. Um. Boom. That was awesome. What is this? He reminds me of Adam West. You know what? That's a good way to describe it. Bingo. Bingo bongo. Destination is right there. Peppy Popeshi Salon. Peppy Popeshi Salon. This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people, or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sampo. I just want to let it be known, chat. Sampo is saying that only the Papeshi people or people who have the VIP. We're about to go into some SpongeBob territory, because the moment we walked in this direction, everybody's a fucking kid. Papeshi Club Bouncer. Freeze! Come over here to me. This is a Papeshi only club. Are you Papeshi? I feel like I am. Yeah, first time anyone's tried pulling that one on me. Feet together, back straight, no bending your knees. The Papeshi who stands no taller than a doorknob makes a gesture at your waist. Huh? You're suddenly curious about how she manages to open the door. What the fuck? That's over the height limit by the length of three Papeshi canes, and you still dare to say you're a Papeshi? My apologies, but you're not welcome here. Get the fuck out. Next time you come here, try squatting down low on the ground and talking to me. Maybe I'll be in a good mood and let it slide. I'm touching their head. Huh? Did I hear that right? 
I dare you to say that again in front of all the Papeshi people and... Of course I will. All right, Rude, don't forget what you just said. Don't forget what you said. Just wait until you're beaten black and blue by Papeshi right hook. I have a god on my side. I can destroy you, child. Anyway, out of my way. You look utterly clueless. You look utterly ugly. Here we are again, pal! Huh? Oh, it's you. You here to relax? Dude, did they get actual right. kids? I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Uh, three. Three? Uh, that's what he just said. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. Ooh. I've already seen yours. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> Dude, his can laugh you make is so an wacky. Exception and let them in. I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? <laughs> He's talking no, to a baby. I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, seems like we can't go in. <laughs> wow. The adult life sure does suck, huh? What the heck is Just this? stay cool. Let me think of something. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Bro, I love Sampo. I love when Sampo breaks Goofy and he's like, Show me! Let me think of something. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt. And everlasting hatred just mention the clown's items to miss thunderbolt she'll understand what i mean what in the cryptic bullshit clown just be patient i'll explain everything when the time comes sure thing i'll deliver your message to her please wait here we're gonna swing by aren't we all right quick while he's distracted go <clears throat> oh never mind here's the items you asked for uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said, do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thought. Now, we're only short of one item. Hey, which Hina. We might be able to Thank find for the sub. in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, oh, there's God. one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Bro, we would have, uh, are we about to play ZZZ? Dumped on the side of the road. <laughs> I'm afraid what is happening? Miss Firefly. This this feels like the most like machine has a sense of filler art of when it's state. not. It's There's so much like shit the junk to happen, but I'm like, hey, this is the filler episode of the art. See what happens. But it hurt, I guess. Well, I might be totally off base here, but I think there's something fishy with this TV. But it's fine if you want to give it a shot. I trust your judgment. <laughs> My judgment is terrible. Time to make a choice. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Seems like I'm left with no other options. You reach out and you touch it. Wait, chat. Am I in the second quest? Is that what chat was saying? That I'm technically on the second quest? When did that happen? Nope, there's no split. You aren't? This, this is part of it? Okay. No, there's no split? Well. Dear Lord. Alright, I'm gonna do this, and then after this, I think I'm out. Wait, what? Why did you turn into this thing? Ah, so now I get to join the, the Pichellis or whatever, what were they called? Gosh, you guys are tall. Goodness me, you guys are so tall, you desperately want to say this, but somehow you transform to a certain cartoon character. Her name is Hanu, a candid and tact figure. 
a lover of your hat, and a leader of the werewolves from the Pentacone's famous long-form cartoon clocky. Dear fucking Christ. I think I've been sucked into the TV. But I heard a grunt that sounds cool. You make an extremely cool grunt. Man, really, it was so cool. You look so... cool. You got swag now, pal. I've never thought I would hear the word swag in Honkai Star Rail. And I kind of fucking love it. <laughs> so, how did he turn into that? And that definitely was the most, like, dad way of saying it. Oh, you sure look swag now, kiddo. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold oh on, my God, let me Simba. take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. <laughs> now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. Okay. Uh, but I had a grunt that sounds cool. Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. We'll cheer you on. I'm in. <laughs> Let's go. Find the treasure the bot is stolen. Hell yeah. Bro, now this is the type of minigame I'm, I'm in for. <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. Uh, bro? Is that you? Oh, look how small you become. You won't be able to escape this time. <laughs> the balloons placed. Okay. Oh. All right, this is kind of fire. No, oh, I hate my mouth for revealing my secrets. Dude. This is sick. Bro, now this is the type of mini game I feel like these games need more of. Because this is just stupid funny. Let me get you out of there. You can't talk it off or get it. Thank you, Trev. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Using the fantastic rocket built by the origami bird. Whee! This looks amazing. Dude, it's pretty great. This sends me to the other side. Boom, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Who needs to sleep anyway, bro? After this, I'm definitely going to sleep. Well, I'm not going to sleep. I'm hanging out with uh with Hayden. But uh then I'm going to sleep. Oh, I do need to teleport, but There you are. Don't oh, crap! You foiled my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Fine. All admit it. You rescued Dream. And I love the music. Again. But you No you won't. After going all around, you find yourself at the entrance to Boss Stone's maze. Ooh. Kill him. You're back. It was quite fun. I see. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment huh. of freedom. 
You have earned it. Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. Another dream? Just follow huh? me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. Um, I don't know about all that. Return to the Dreamscape sales store. Okay. I think with that chat, I'm going to end the stream. I am very tired. We've hit the three hour mark. Uh, 